So my dog destroyed my patio door screen today. Um, he likes to, to scratch at it. He's, he thinks he's a cat, I guess. But there's some pretty big holes in here. Flies can get in and stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, put a new screen in a patio door. To get this job done, you just need about four tools. You need a sharp knife, you need a spline tool, you need a flat blade screwdriver, and this tool, it's not necessary, but um, has a little hook on it, and I found that was very helpful to remove the old spline. So at my hardware store, I bought this screen replacement kit, and it comes with the, the screen, the tool to put it in, and it comes with the spline. And for my screen door, I needed a 36 inch by 84 inch. That's, that's three feet by seven feet. So uh, measure your screen before you go and purchase. It's, uh, it's good to make sure you have the right size. The instructions on the screen say to do this on a flat surface. I know my shop floor is fairly flat, so I'm gonna use that. I don't actually have a workbench that's big enough for this job, so I'm just gonna do it on the floor. So the first step is to obviously remove the old screen and it's pretty easy to do that. There's a spline that's in, the gr in a groove here that holds it in and you just need to find the corner where, um, where they started and finish and just use a screwdriver, I think, and try to pry it out. I have one of these tools with a little hook on it and I'm gonna try to use that to get the spline out. And Oh, almost got it. There we go. And then you just yank it. Okay, so my spline is obviously dried out. And this is gonna be annoying. <laughs> oh boy. What if I just, no. This might take me a while. Okay, I think I'm gonna get a wider angle of this and we're gonna uh, just speed it up for you guys because you don't need to watch this. If you were doing a window screen, you wouldn't have this problem, but since it's a screen door, this has a handle on it which is in the way. So I'm gonna have to take it off. So that's one step that you need to do. This is probably the first step. Second step would be removing the screen. There. Not sure if that's loose or not, nope, okay. And then we'll just finish peeling out the rest of this spline. I did notice that the, the part the sun didn't hit the screen, that spline came out all in one piece. Whereas where it was, the sun was hitting it, the, the spline seems to be pretty dried out. Then once the spline is removed, just roll up the screen and all its garbage in it and throw it away. So once you have the, um, the spline out and the old screen out and you made sure the grooves for the new spline is clean, just uh, unroll your new screen and kind of make sure it looks somewhat square. And there's the new spline. So to install the new spline, I'm gonna start in the bottom just like the old one was. And you just get it started by pushing with your fingers. And one thing too, you wanna use the concave part of the roller for this. And uh, firm pressure, just uh, feed that new spline in there. When you get to corners, you do it all in one piece. You just kind of wrap it around. Sometimes it's easy to, or it helps to use a screwdriver just to help it in there. Be very careful that you don't break the screen. Just feed it in there. Pretty easy. Thank you. 
And then once you get to the corner, just uh, carefully cut your spline off and push it the rest of the way in with your screwdriver. And the last step is to cut off your excess. Be very careful not to cut the screen. And you just run your knife along the inside. And that's how you fix a screen door until my dog decides to, um, to wreck it again. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And uh, like always, we'll see you in the next one.